And this is it for authentication and authorization. As you can tell, it has multiple layers. For one, of course, it affects both the front end and the back end. On the front end, we want to control what we see so that we, for example, can't edit places that don't belong to us. We want to be able to edit our own ones, of course, though. We also want to manage login and authentication there to stay logged in, but to also automatically log the user out once the token expired. And that token is the heart of authentication. On the front end, we just change what we show to the user. On the back end, on the other hand, we create this token here, a JSON web token to be precise. We can store data in it and we then, and that's very important, we then make sure that we also validate and verify this token so that we can protect certain routes with a middleware here against unauthenticated access. We check whether we do have a token and if it's a valid token, and then we can extract data from the token and attach this to our requests. Besides this authentication logic here though, where we check whether we do have a token, we also can do authorization to ensure that, for example, only a user who created a place is able to edit it. This also is an important part of authentication and authorization. And in this module, you'll learn about this part as well. With that, I just got some tiny tweaks on the back end, which we can apply, but which we don't have to. The core of logic should be clear now and how the back end and the front end are connected there and what the responsibility of each side is.